one. So this is day number two after me replanting the Glossus stigma latinoides carpet. The carpet is already showing new growth, which is pretty good. I think that as I said before, it's going to take uh, maybe a um, couple of months for it to completely cover the, the foreground. The process of replanting the, the carpet took me about three hours because uh, it's a process that takes time because I had to make uh, single plants out of the Glossostigma latinoides uh, runners and I also removed the the gloss of growing in, in this part of the, far, in, of the foreground because I didn't like how it was looking so now the the foreground is, is clean I also got rid of the hydrocotyl tripartita that it was growing right here I took it out because it was uh, messing with my gloss stigma a lot now this carpet and I didn't like it and this is how the tank is, is doing so far I gotta like it this way now I'll be more I'll take care of the Glossostima latinoides carpet before it, it gets out of control again so this is how the the tank looks like right now oh yeah and I also have a bunch of uh, duck with growing here let me show you look got a bunch of it and I will take it out as well oh yeah and I also have flowers these are the uh, Dwarf Sagittaria flowers. This is how they look like. Pretty nice. And they're all once they start flowering, they will continue flowering until you either kill the plant or remove it. It never stops. Alright, so this is what I wanted to show you. I'll try to upload more videos about the progress of the Glossus stigma latinoides carpet and this is my cryptocurin parba I really like this plant I forgot that I had it alright I hope you like it goodbye